Let's just play this with a chorus sound. Yeah, right? You're getting a bit of a different sound there. And you can even like do things like sync it so that your chorus rate is sitting in with the tempo of your track. Mixbox. Yes, I did it in the wrong order. Mixbox from IK Multimedia. Now, what is Mixbox? What is Mixbox? It needs Pete to turn down his volume. What is Mixbox? Well, it is a multiprocessor. So think about the, the old effects processes that you would have where you can simulate amplifiers, you can use reverb and delay and flange and whatever your imagination can think of, you can actually add it in here. So we've got a bunch of these slots and you can see here you've got amps, you've got channel strips, so you've got EQs, you've got delays, you've got distortion. There's so many cool things here and like to give you an idea of some of the quality of this stuff, like some of the EQs and some of the, um, the compressors are like actually modeled around real hardware gear it's actually quite ridiculous like you go in here to the eq and you've got like a vi this vintage eq is awesome the vintage eq1a like there's a whole bunch of stuff in here really nicely designed really excellent layout uh where is it yeah the the, uh, the black 76 this is like an 1176 compressor like look at that design layout and i know it's how it sounds not how it looks and we'll take a quick listen to how it sounds now because like all of these again we won't use it here in its a standalone mode we will throw it onto a track in garage band now what track should we use here i haven't quite decided yet uh let's go down to maybe some acoustic guitar no 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 we'll go with we'll go with this other guitar sound we haven't played around with this one yet uh make sure it's the only one soloed so yeah so here's this guitar sound right we've got a nice clean we'll turn it back up and we'll just put it in the middle here, shall we? We'll pan it to the middle, turn it up a bit. All right, and we'll come to a bit where it's actually playing more chords, like. So I think in this section it kicks in. Yeah, we'll play with this and then we'll maybe use it on a vocal really quickly. So we've already got our sound there, but let's just say, like we did with the other one, we want to actually just use the mix box instead to create a cool custom tone here. So what we'll do is we'll grab this guitar in sort of the louder bit, we'll copy that little bit of guitar, and then we'll just create a brand new track. So we'll unsolo that because we're gonna use a brand new track. We hit plus, and this is what we can do. We can just go to a regular audio recorder track. Again, we want fun and clean, so we've got no processing on there whatsoever. Come back to here, and just so that we can get a nice clean indication of what this guitar would sound like, we will paste it on in. Uh, oh, it, did I copy all the guitar? Well, that was smart of me. All right, so we'll just solo this one out, and take... there you go. So that's what it sounds like with anything, yeah? Not too inspiring. But if we wanted to sort of throw a bit of uh, interesting tones on here, all we need to do is come in here, go to edit, and then instead of adding individual effects here, we can just add one instance of Mixbox, like this. Come in here, Mixbox, and then we've got all of this. Now, a bit small, yeah, don't worry, we can embiggen it. Got the exact same layout here, pretty much the exact same layout. And then we can start layering in different effects. So what I do is say, you know, I want a bit of a, a, a distortion tone on here to start with. So we're going to add a distortion, uh, just uh, maybe a regular distortion on here. Uh, so that's like, you know, your, your standard DS1 kind of distortion pedal. So let's just see what that's going to sound like. That really, that really doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> But here's the thing, you can you can use trial and error here. We'll come back, instead of distortion, let's just go on amp. So we'll just put like a British tube lead amp on here. And there you go, you've got like a Marshall style amp that you can add to this guitar. That's better, right? Now, the one thing that you'll hear there is that as you add in things here, it does start to give you a bit of a hiss and a bit of like noise. The one thing that, that myself and Jade Starr and a bunch of other people that have looked at this app have said is, uh, okay, you need a noise gate. 
a noise gate is definitely required for this app, this app, but you can use the free Nembrini noise gate or the regular uh, GarageBand noise gate if you want to. We can come in here, can add an EQ. So you've got just like a nice standard parametric EQ, or if you want to use like the British EQ, you've got an EQ like this. So again, the way these look is super cool. Uh, we want to add like a um, some modulation effects here, a bit of a chorus sound. I think that could work well. Let's just play this with a chorus sound. Yeah, right. You're getting a bit of a different sound there. And you can even like do things like sync it so that your chorus rate is sitting in with the tempo of your track. So it's intelligent in that regard as well. What's something else we can do? A bit of a filter. Let's just try like a phaser on here as well and really mess up the sound. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. So you probably don't want to do that. So yeah, really cool on this. We can use it on drums. We can use it on vocals, a whole bunch of other things. So let's just come in, say to our vocal, um, where were we? Where did I put that vocal? Here it is. So we go to our lead vocal. Uh, so, you know, at the moment it's a little bit do dry. Do it right. Now you're somewhere out of sight. We'll take Bruce Free off there <laughs> so we can uh, add this in. And again, you can see you can keep your other effects in here, but also use Mixbox. So you can use it in conjunction. And that's probably a good thing to keep in mind. You don't want to just replace everything with Mixbox because it, it, it does do everything, but it doesn't have to do everything, right? So we can add Mixbox in here. We're going to tap on that one. And again, we can bring it up here. Let's add some, so we want a nice uh, reverb effect on here. Uh, we can use, what will we go with? Uh, we'll go with a spring reverb on these. Uh, look at that. How cool does that look? So we've got our time and we've got our dry wet knob here. What I'll actually do though, is we'll just take, because it's already kind of swimming and stuff, we'll turn down the reverb there so that we can play around with this a little bit and we'll hit play on this one. Side, and I'm feeling like I'm kind of nervous, wondering when. So again, you can add in just a little bit, like a nice bit of subtle spring reverb. We can come in here and add something else. What else will we do? A little bit of uh, saturation. So a bit of tape saturation that you can put over here to sort of dirty it up a bit. When you come back to me and how it for you. So the opportunities and the possibilities are kind of endless. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do here. The mix box, again, that it... <laughs> I, I, I don't like saying buy something because it looks good, but having that, like it can it can really help you when you see things that look this cool that have kind of the analog and that anamorphic kind of feel, it can help you with your music creation because if it looks cool, sometimes you can, uh, it, it encourages you to use it. It's not that it's going to sound better, but it encourages you to use it because of how it looks. If you wanted one app that did a bunch of stuff, as opposed to some of the more individual specific apps, I think Mixbox from IK is cool. And the folks at IK actually came along. I'll, I'll, I've linked to the live stream if you're watching on the replay. I did a live stream just on this, a whole hour just on Mixbox. IK, one of the developers actually came along and was in the chat helping people and answering questions. So if you want to if you want to buy something to support a company that is a, that is definitely doing the right thing by the community, then uh, I think you can do uh, very well by using IK Multimedia's Mixbox.